so hello everyone my name is ravindra in this video we will see how to add all the table data okay into a single table let's i explain you the first scenario let's i open the excel sheet here okay in excel sheet you can be see we have multiple sheets okay in the multiple sheets we have the multiple tables here okay so in this sheet you can be see this is table 2 and this is table 3 okay so we have to merge this table 2 and table 3 data into a single table okay so how to achieve this let's we see okay so let's i came to the power automate i will show you the run history so you can be understand here okay we want this data in an array format so we can be perform some actions on that data okay merge data let's it save and test our flow so we are running here flow okay and now you can be see our flow is running and a flow run is successful so here we will get the data in our required format okay entire data means table 1 and table 2 data we can be get on this data we can be perform operations as well after this step okay so how to achieve this let's we see first i will go and duplicate the tab let's go to the create let's create on instant cloud flow give the name to all data of multiple tables select the manual trigger and let's click on the create so we will land to our new designer studio we will utilize this okay if you have some doubt we will go to the older step so let's add here get table action get table of our excel sheet from this excel we will take uh, all the tables okay that are present in our excel sheet so that's why we use here get table action let's add in our action here okay so after that we will select the document library so in my case i have site power right let's select this document library is document let's we select the file get multiple sheet it so this file we are selected here so up to this every close let's we add one more action here add an action list to present in table we'll add this action here list row present in table here same procedure we will do we'll go and uh, search here power platform so we will select our site document file let's we select our file then we have to select the table so we just add custom value here okay enter custom value will go to the dynamic content and put the name so it will automatically goes to the for each loop okay you not have to do anything okay so let's we close it here okay after this uh, if you run our flow okay so let's we run our flow so you can be understand what's happening here let's test before test i want to show let's we add here compose action in the compose we will take the input from the dynamic content this in output we can't be able to take okay so how to take this so for that we have to initialize one variable here so we'll use type here variable we see more actions we first initialize variable give to name all data we will use string variable here okay so you have one question here why i use a string variable okay so because if you add here 
array variable okay so we can't able to append array into an array okay so that's why we use a string variable to append the this all table one data into a second table for the second iteration that's why we use here string variable okay so next we go to the apply to which add an action here we will type here append to string this variable we will use here simply we will use the name all data provide the value from the dynamic content output simply and here if you run let's see compose add dynamic content all data let's we run our flow here so our flow is running we added here actions let's click on the run So our flow is running first action is successful second action is also successful and let's say you see the compose okay in the compose you are getting an array data you can be able to see but in this action okay if you see here we are adding two simply i use a notepad to understand you so in this variable okay append to string variable we will get this data okay after that this data we are getting here but if you see our error data is present in this format okay so we have to remove these two brackets here okay and we have to join this okay by using comma okay so we will get data in an array format so how to do this let's we click on this edit icon okay let's go to the compose before that in the here we will use body list of items and in the compose action let's we remove this we will add expression here okay now here we will use replace replace required the dynamic content string so we will provide add variable then we will provide the old string okay so our old string is this one okay so in our notepad you can be see we have this two arrays okay so we have to replace this with this okay so we are added their old string in the new string we will add comma so we have only two tables so we have to do this for a single time only okay and we will do one more time okay if it is present okay then it will replace then if not then it will not simply copy this step here and click on the add so let's save our flow for saving we will add here par json action we will provide the content here from dynamic content we will take compose click on the add schema we will generate after this okay for now we just simply pass an array here let's click on the done let's save our flow and let's test it so our flow is running successfully or not so just click on the test run a flow done so our flow is running 
first table is completed is going for second second is also completed in the par json what we have to do simply copy the which action we are taking here this i see compose simply just copy the entire output here simply go into an edit mode here just use this edit mode. save your flow now you get this uh, entire data okay this sheet 1 and sheet 2 data into an this compose action okay that's all friends and uh, after this action you can also use this actions also compose I just show to you from the dynamic content also you can easily take all the values here okay you can be seen that's all friends if you have any question or doubt you can be asked into a comment box and if you have some suggestions for me you can also provide that for me Thank you. Have a nice day.